organic, unpredictable, unknown, lovely, beautiful, a sense of fulfillment. This is part of the pleasures of life and not the chores of life. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of Daily Iowan TV, your television news, sports, and weather source for the Daily Iowan. I'm Dana Davidson here in the Daily Iowan newsroom to give you a quick look at what's going on around Iowa City. The Iowa Education Summit took place in Des Moines on Monday morning. The event included a speech from U.S. Secretary of Education Arne Duncan. The Harvard grads stressed the importance of bipartisanism in the education system. The summit was called by Governor Terry Branstead after findings showed that math and reading scores had significantly decreased for children in Iowa over the past two decades. Check out Tuesday's Daily Iowan for coverage of the summit. The Iowa Summer Writing Festival entered its sixth and final week today with lectures by Writers Workshop graduate Hugh Fair. The lecture aimed at to help aspiring fiction writers make their work livelier by showing instead of telling. Fair also emphasized the importance of writing for the emotions. He made an analogy between music and writing and talked to the Iowa Summer Writing Festival as a whole. You know, um, most of what happens uh, uh, during the year is for uh, registered students, undergrads and grad students. And the Summer Writing Festival is this opportunity for uh, uh, adults, uh, non-registered students to come to town and to be a part of the mix. And it's a place where, uh, you know, the community and uh, the university resources and the city resources really overlap. The festival will continue throughout the rest of the week, wrapping up with a faculty lecture on Friday. All readings begin at 11 a.m. and will take place in Biology Building East. For, for more information, check out the UI Event Master Calendar. After more than four months of negotiations, the NFL lockout finally came to an end with players and owners coming to an agreement, according to ESPN. Not only is this good news for thousands of football fans, but it's also good for the former Hawkeye recruited in last April's draft. Defensive end Adrian Claiborne was the first Hawkeye selected in the 2011 draft, picked up by the first round by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Former Hawkeye Ricky Stanzi was selected in the fifth round by Kansas City Chiefs. Claiborne and Stanzine will now join a slew of former Hawkeyes playing in the NFL and will have an opportunity to further perpetuate head coach Kirk Ferentz's reputation of turning out professional football talent. Sunday night's primetime league championships came down to the wire as incoming Hawkeye Aaron White hit a buzzer-beating layup to give his team the 100-99 win. The freshman-to-be played alongside Hawkeye teammates Matt Gason and Melson Basabi. White led his team with 26 points, while Basabi posted a double-double, putting up 17 points and 13 rebounds. Check out Tuesday's Daily Iowan for complete coverage of the Game Time League Championship. A pair of soon-to-be Hawkeyes helped the United States rank in 59 medals at the 16th Pan American Junior Championships in Florida over the weekend. Kayla Beattie earned gold medals in the 3 and 5K, beating the second place runner in the 5K by six seconds. Gage Hull earned the silver medal in the discus toss. The state championship from Bloomington, Indiana was bested by Jamaica's Travis Sminkle. In addition to these two incoming Hawkeyes, current Iowa assistant coach Scott Kap Kapos was at the U.S. team coaching staff. Read about a recent alcohol study which suggests a decrease in OWI and public intox offenses since the 21 ordinance went into effect and read about two buildings in Johnson County that have recently received gold level lead status for environmental friendliness. And now a look at your weather forecast. Expect another warm one Tuesday with highs near 88 degrees and a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Tuesday night will be partially cloudy with a 30% chance of precipitation and a low of 73 degrees. And as we look at the rest of the week, it looks to be slightly more mild than last week. Expect temperatures to remain in the high 80s and low 90s throughout the week with a 50% chance of precipitation late Wednesday and Thursday. That's your latest update from Daily Iowan TV. Be sure to check us out at the same time on Tuesday night or anytime at dailyiowan.com. I'm Dana Davidson for Daily Iowan TV News. I'm Kyla Seward, Daily Iowan TV's news director this summer. We're always looking for new members of our team, and if you'd like to join us this fall, please contact us at the website listed at the bottom of your screen.